For those of you who've never met me before, my name's Janet Salmon. A lot of people seem to have discovered me on the internet because of some of the recordings that I've done for these sessions. A lot of people are still confused why my accent isn't properly German. I'm, I'm not German. I was born in the UK. I moved to Germany in 1992 and have lived there ever since. And I've worked for SAP all that time, always in the development organization. It's actually my fourth time in San Diego, so this has started becoming a bit of a habit of mine. So what I'm going to talk about is, you know, what are we doing as SAP? And what we're really doing is we're, we're reinventing SAP financials, which is why it's so fascinating for me to come to these conferences. Because I like to listen to you. I like to try and understand where you are, what you're struggling with, what makes sense, what's just so crazy. I'll talk a little bit about how the t new technology allows us to do some of these things. I know the SAP marketing answer is the answer is SAP HANA regardless of the question. But I'm going to try and show you that SAP HANA really does make a difference. I'll talk a little bit about new user interfaces. And I hope what you'll go away with at the end of today is an idea behind really what is this simple finance stuff. It is probably the most radical change we've done since the early 90s. It feels like 1992, 1993 again. And I'll talk about what we use that for, essentially, in terms of better reporting, better planning. So reinventing SAP financials, what does SAP HANA mean to us? SAP HANA is basically the platform that allows us to build these new applications. So I know a couple of people in the room said to me they're already doing SAP Business Suite on HANA. They've already switched out their database. They're using HANA as their main database. And then the next level of innovation for us was to kind of try and reinvent accounting. SAP cash management has been also completely re-architected. And some of my team have also been working on the integrated business planning for finance. But before we go into the details, I was thinking it's important to just step back and say, this HANA stuff, what does it really do? Why should I care? And I apologize for being slightly technical here, but I think it's important to understand what's different. There's two really critical things that HANA allows us to do that we couldn't do 20 years ago. The one is this idea that we're going from a row store to a column store, which sounds like watching paint dry, 